Okay, so just really quickly, um, if when you want to do a, a test or um, any of the assignments or anything like that, you go here, uh, you can create, and then this will take you to making um, a little bit of information about it, about the test, and then when you hit, click submit, you name it, when you hit submit, it'll take you to where you can create questions um, for the test. Um, and I can walk you through that if if you need. It's it's fairly self-explanatory, um, as much as anything on Blackboard is self-explanatory. Um, I have a bunch of you know tests and quizzes here. Uh, I'll just click on one. Um, so this is something I already have. Okay, so then. I really don't like to time the tests. Um, it just creates problems if you have students that need extended time. Um, I do try to remind them that Blackboard can log itself off if you wander away from the computer um, and, the te and Blackboard logs off, the test will automatically submit wherever they are. So I tell them just to prepare to take the test and do it in one sitting, that kind of thing. Again, give them a general idea of you know how many questions, how long it should take. If it does automatically submit it and you get a panicked email from a student, it's really easy to just go in and erase the test from the or or clear the test from the grade book um, and let them take it again. So just make sure it's available. I typically add an announcement. It automatically just um, posts an announcement and sends it to the students that hey, there's a, a quiz that you need to take. I frequently will let them retake the test at least once. Um, I figure really just reading the material and trying to answer the questions, I know it's open book, at least they're reviewing the information. So many times a lot of my quizzes and tests are, are just almost more of a review just because of the nature of it. Um, I don't like to do this forced completion. Again, I just, um, but, but if you want to, you can click that. Um, you can, you know, set up the date and time. Sometimes I use this password if I'm let, giving a student access to the test after everybody else has it, you know, if they had to do it late. Um, due date, that will automatically put it into the grade book. I rarely click this. You'll see in the grade book, it'll, it'll show up when they took the test, so you know if they did it late. And if it's closed, they can't see it anyway, so... Uh, make sure it's going into the grade center if it's a graded test. And then I typically let them look at it after the due date um, so that, you know, if a student were sharing information with another student, they wouldn't be able to give the answers to that other student until after everybody had completed the test. Um, I generally have the, the, the questions presented one at a time and I don't let them go back. And then randomizing the questions is one of the, re, you know, one of the ways to kind of guard against that sharing of information. That just means the questions are given in random order so they can't share the A, B, F, you know, whatever answers, A, B, C answers. Uh, and then you just click submit and that's about it for creating a test.